What's up everyone? It's Ross Face Park again and we're gonna review the diabolical Billy Butcher from the FX. And here's the figure out of the box. And I, I like this figure. Uh, it, it looks it looks great. I just wish that uh sorry. I, I just went like I like this figure. It, it's great. If you need a butcher, this is the one. But I, I love the cloth jacket. But it, I know butcher is known for wearing black throughout the show. But I feel like it, it, it feels a little plain. Because, I mean, butcher mainly does wear black. But, I mean, in season one and two, I feel like he he starts wearing more, like, colorful shorts. I Like, a Hawaii shirt. I think he won season two maybe like with the pink flowers on him or the blue flowers on him would have been like a nicer one i think than just like a plain black uh show and i the and the one thing i also don't like is that like middle part like i i don't like how that looks at all i do not like like this whole this chest area exposed i feel like they should have done it in a different way, but um, yeah, the 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 coat's great. Obviously, the it, it's bendy wire all around. It's been it's or, or, no, it's a uh, not bendy wire all around. It's only bendy on the uh, side, so you can have him just going crazy like that. The face the face looks good, and the uh, torso actually moves pretty pretty well actually, which is just surprising. Like look at that. This, like, let me try popping this out. So if this is the, this is a peg, and it's all like rubber. So it's, it's kind of like the uh, Mandalorian figure in a way. And this is which is pants. And once again, he does have single knees. <sighs> I very much do not like when characters who just wear pants get single knees. I, I hate it in effect. If if anyone from Maticon is some re for some reason watching this video, please make your figures who have like characters who have baggy pants, just give them double leg articulation. Come on man. That Mando figure shouldn't have never gotten single leg movement. He's a freaking Mandalorian, a bounty hunter. And single look the, the boots look great, they're untied. Look at those uh, uh, combat boots. Are these what they're called? Uh, I heard one of uh, my neighbor a couple of years ago. Someone was like wearing them from when I was walking from school. And he said, get those shit kickers off my lawn. So, uh, yeah. These these look good. The, the jacket is pretty good. It's got buttons and stuff, which is pretty crazy. Cause it's got pockets. It's got patches on the... On the uh, shoulder piece, the elbow, he, it does attract stuff, which kind of sucks. But uh, he's got this like thing there in the back, and uh, yeah, this this jacket is pretty cool. I, I like it, but it, it is tough to move on with the arms he has. Let me remove this real quick. It's tough to put on and uh, take off. For some reason, but always make sure you remove the hands before you take it off. And then now you have a different Billy Butcher look entirely. Let me just put uh, his hands back on. And uh, bada bing, bada boom. I've got a, a, a different version of Butcher just ready to party I guess and uh this is also like a cool different um look and the shirt like without the jacket the shirt does look a bit sort of like flayed out it's like a weird shape so the jacket definitely helps hide the the weird like shapeness of it I mean the the back looks great they they actually sculpted uh wrinkles in it so that's that's always cool when they when companies put effort into the, into the parts of the figure that you will most likely never see, or you not see that often, but yeah, the the uh, 
Yeah, the, the arms look great. Yeah. Um, and be before we move on to a different topic, I honestly how fluid this figure really does feel. Once you take off that jacket, the arms move really great. Uh, the shoulders are great. The torso is great. Even the legs and somewhat the knees are also great. But he, he, he does have a bit of trouble, like, standing. So if you were to... Okay, uh, like, he, he does tend to fall over a, a bit much, but, um, it, it looks great, just, just, like, just messing with it, and not even, like, purposely doing anything, or putting it in the pose, it just, it just feels, like, it just feels so, so great. Here are Bridger's accessories, he comes with, um, a splayed out hand, a grappling hand, f a fist, another, uh, splayed out hand, another fist, and a trigger finger, and another hand to hold the gun, and a watch, which is uh, really cool. Here's a closer look at the watch in question. It looks really great, actually. And here's how it looks like on the uh, arm of Butcher, and it does a really good job of hiding the, uh, uh, the peg that goes into the hand. So it is really cool accessory, just to, like kind of Next, Butcher comes with this like gigantic gun that he uh, I think I think he almost used this to kill Translucent in season one. If it will uh, focus, like the that that cover looks great, it's sort of like pinkish, kind of like from far away it looks kind of pink, but it's also like gray as well. Next, he comes with like his taser effect that Huey uh, used to. Uh, shock, uh, translucent a bunch, and it would have been cool if they added, uh, like some sort of different, uh, attachment like black part with like lightning coming out of it. That would have been, that would have been uh, like a pretty cool accessory. So you could use it on like other figures, but as it stands, this is this is a pretty good accessory, pretty cool, pretty unique as well. And here's the like little. A uh, small uh, candle. And here is the infamous, and in my opinion, a bit overrated laser baby from season one. And he he looks great, or she we I don't know I don't think we found out whatever it was. But anyways, uh, it's just like a regular baby. Uh, with uh the the blue eyes are good. Uh, once again with the laser beam effects. I I wish it came with laser beam effects. And then this figure would have been, like, like the baby accessory would have been even cooler. I mean, I would have taken a, like, the blue lasers coming out of his uh, eyes than just this. It's like an emotional, like, like just stay out. Because, I, I mean, I guess now, if you want, you could use this as like, as, like, a regular baby for your display, I guess. Um, even though it, it can't really sit. Because it, if you put it on, it just falls back. But uh, yeah, it looks great. And you plug it in Butcher's hand. It, it has a hole. Uh, dang it. It has a hole right there in the uh, the left booty. You put the, the plug that's in Butcher's hand. And you just put it on. Put the thing in the other thing. And then boom. It's the baby is happy. And Butcher comes with two uh, two heads, actually. He comes with this uh, big smile-looking head. Now, this one is, like, Carl Urban. This is Carl Urban, 100%. This looks very, very good. The hair looks perfect. The beard looks, again, perfect. It looks, to, at least to me, legit like, uh, like, <sighs> dang, I forgot his name. But it, it looks like Carl, Carl Urban. And here is the Mayfax Homelander next to the Mayfax Billy Butcher. 
He was the Mayfix Butcher next to Donesco Dark Nocturnal. He was Butcher next to the SH Figure Arts that movie Deadpool. And ending it in a bang, here is the greatest superhero ever created, Beta Ray Bill. And that's it for the video, guys. Final thoughts. This figure is great, and if you do need a Billy Butcher, this is really the only one to get because no one else has made or even announced a Billy Butcher figure yet, which is kind of surprising. But, I mean, I don't think it's going to get any better than this. If unless some unless someone else makes a figure with a cloth wire jacket and double knees, that's the that's the only thing I would that would make me just think, hmm, this may be better than Mayfix. But as of right now, as it stands, it it's a great figure. It, it's really great. It does have some short sides like the the knees, which I really, really don't like, and the jacket kind of hinders a bit of uh, like sh shoulder rotation and such, but I, I can't stop seeing this, the figure, these, the praises of this figure enough, I, out of these two figures right now, I do prefer the Butcher, actually, which is pretty crazy coming out of my mouth, because the Homelander has actual leg articulation, the Butcher does not. But uh, th this figure is so fluid, it's so fun to just n even mess around with. He, he comes with great accessories, uh, both heads are great, and even the baby is great as well. It, this figure is all, all around a, a great figure and definitely a contender for a figure of the year, honestly. This figure is just that damn good, and I really, really hope Mayfix continues making more of the boys. Figure. I, I need uh, a mother's milk, I need the Huey, I need Frenchie, and I need Kimiko or the female. I I, I need them. I, I cannot wait. Hopefully Mayfex sort of 100% this line and gives us both teams, both Va 7 and the boys. <laughs> this, these, both of these figures look great, but Butcher just moves so great. And um, that is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.